What's going on guys, Tyler here, and today we're talking about an Elementor feature called the Neon Button. You're able to create an actual neon effect with the Elementor Button widget using Elementor Page Builder for WordPress. It's super awesome, all the details are going to be in this video, so be sure and stay tuned for the whole video, and let's jump in. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure and smash that nice red look and subscribe button. Join the fam, be a part of the subscriber family, and also check out my other videos. I have a ton of videos about Elementor, Elementor Pro, and just cool different features that you can do with Elementor here on my channel. So take a look on my channel, see what other videos interest you, and see some of the amazing other features that you can use with Elementor. And of course, if you like this video, drop a like. And of course, like I said, Elementor is awesome. So if you're interested in upgrading to Elementor Pro at any time, check out that first link down below in the description. Elementor Pro is an incredible plugin. It has so many awesome features and it can really up the design and stylization of your website a lot for a little price. So check out that link down below in the description. All right, let's jump in. All right, guys, we're going to make this short and sweet and just jump right into my computer here. And let's go ahead and create a new page here. So we're going to go over here on the left to pages and hit add new. And once this pops up, we're actually going to go ahead and just hit edit with Elementor at the top and we will jump into editing with Elementor. Now I have the page layout set to the uh, canvas. If you need to adjust that, you can go to settings here, page layout and switch that over to Elementor canvas and that will remove your header and footer off your page. Now what we're gonna actually do here is go over to, let's add a new section here. Let's push the plus here and add a new section. We'll click on the actual section settings and we'll switch the height to fit to screen. Now this, is, this section is now gonna take up basically the entire screen here. Now what we're going to do is add a background image. Now this effect works really well, this, this neon button works really well with darker themed um, background images, darker themed websites, things like that. Maybe you run kind of like this like underground neon type of business, you know, like something like kind of cool and, and underground per se <laughs> um, type of style. Um, this will work really, really well with that. If you're just trying to do it to, um, to kind of fit in with your theme, I think you might be able to use light, lighter background. Um, it might kind of depend on what colors you pick for the neon, um, but this definitely um, is going to look good on a dark background. So let's go ahead and just, uh, we'll select the section here and we'll go over to style and we will hit background type and we'll hit classic and then we're gonna add a dark background image. All right, we got that dark background image added. Look at that guy, what a nice guy. He looks a lot like me. Um, let's go ahead and go over here to background overlay and we'll click on that and we'll hit background type and we'll hit classic and we're gonna change the color here to primary, well, my primary color, which is black, but just switch it to a black and then use your opacity filter here, adjuster to lighten or darken the image a little bit. It's basically just overlaying a semi-transparent um, black box over your image. I like around maybe like a 60-ish, 0.6. That looks pretty good to me. It's kind of like dark. It doesn't really detract from the content that's going to be in the foreground of the background image here. So once we have that set, let's go ahead and just start designing our page with a title and a button. So let's go back over here, grab a heading, and then we'll go back over here and we'll grab a button here. And you can see I lost that title because the text is actually set to black. So the first thing we'll wanna do is go over to style the text color and change that over to white. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and design this page. All right, so for this actual title, I'm just gonna make it something very simple. I'm just gonna say, okay, cool. And then we'll go over to the uh, content. We don't really need to adjust anything here. If you wanna put a link, you can do that or change any of the size or HTML tags, you can do that. Um, I'm gonna go over here to style and go to edit typography and adjust the size to what I think kind of like fits well, maybe like around a for, uh, let's see, like a 35, that looks pretty good. Okay, cool, so I'm gonna do that there. Um, again, this is totally up to you, however you wanna design your page or anything like that. Wherever you put your button is going to be the most important part. So just kind of put your button there and then we'll get into stylizing the button there. So let's go ahead and jump over to the button and get into stylizing it. Let's go ahead and change the background color. Now this is this is important. You wanna pick a color that is going to look good when it's kind of like got that neon effect. So you don't want dark colors if we're on a dark background. You're gonna to wanna to choose a color that is kind of like 
um, usually brighter like neon neon type colors you know like those brighter colors look really well here so let's go ahead and set the text color not the background color the text color to that neon color so let's go ahead let's find kind of like a uh, yeah maybe like a lighter blue or something that looks pretty good right there and then we're going to go ahead and actually set the background color to nothing so we want the background color to be completely transparent so what we're going to do is click on the background color and we'll drag this transparency slider all the way down and you'll see the background completely disappears we'll leave it like that now what we need to add is a border type so we'll add a border type of solid and the width here you can set this to whatever you think um, looks good whatever fits your style I'm gonna go with like a three right there I think that looks pretty good um, so already you can see if I click off this you can actually see how this is how this is looking if we click off you can see it looks pretty nice right there already it looks it looks like a, it has a nice theme kind of nice style going on here let's go ahead and keep continue editing here I'm gonna change the text here to get started I think that looks pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and go back to the style. Uh, let's see, I think that's about it. I do like a border radius. This is totally optional for you guys. Um, a border radius kind of gives it that rounded edges, that rounded feel. Um, I think that looks kind of cool. I'm gonna leave mine at like 40. That just really rounds the corners there. Um, to me, that looks pretty good. If you wanna add padding or anything like that, you could do that, um, whatever you, want to do any other adjustments you want to make to it you can do that right there i'm going to go over to advanced and add some margin here unlink the values and push some top margin there um, just so i have a little bit of spacing maybe just 20 right there that looks pretty good okay now what we need to do to actually create the neon effect is we're going to go over here to style and we're going to go into the hover right here now we need to switch basically the background color that you have or i'm sorry the text color that you have selected here for your neon color you want to change that now to the background color and you want to make the text color white so that's all we're doing here so let's go ahead and just grab from over here the hex code here you can just come uh, copy and paste this right here just copy that right there and then we'll go over to hover so for the text color we need the text color to be white perfect and we need the background color to be that fancy color here so we'll just go ahead and paste this color in right there and then the border color also needs to be that fancy color that neon color that we've picked out perfect so now when I hover over it you get this white um, text and you get the um, background color and the border kind of blending together with that neon color so that looks really nice like that perfect now what we're actually gonna do is use a little bit of custom CSS here to go ahead and make this neon effect all right, to go ahead and actually set this custom CSS, we're gonna go over to the advanced tab, we're gonna go down to custom CSS, and then we're gonna begin typing in here in this custom CSS box. Now I'll zoom in so you can actually see what I'm typing here, but basically what we're gonna type in is selector, and then a space, and then A, and then an open curly bracket, and we're gonna put in a, a new line, hit enter and put in a new line, and put in transition, transition and then a colon meaning the two dots right and by default it should come up with a semicolon at the end there and then we're going to put a space and then put in all and then a space and then put in point six s perfect just like that that's exactly what we're going to put in for now and then the next part of code we're actually going to put in after line three so after the close of this curly bracket we're going to hit enter and start a new line and we're going to start here with the next piece of code all right guys, so the first piece of code that we're actually gonna include, cause we do need to still grab another little snippet of information from another location. So what we're gonna do is put in the first piece of code. So we're gonna type in selector and then a space and then an A and then a colon. So that's A and then the two dots and then type in hover and then an open curly bracket and push enter. And by pushing enter, it should basically element or should close the curly bracket down here on a new line you should have a little area between the two brackets and that's where we're actually going to put in the other piece of code that we need for now that's all we need to do all we need to do is go over and grab the hex code from this button so we're in button settings here we can just go back over to the style tab and click here and then just go ahead and simply copy this we'll copy that code that's the hex code for the neon color that we're using 
go back to the advanced tab, go back to custom CSS, go ahead and click in between the open bracket and the closed bracket here for the hover selector here. Um, let's go ahead and just type in this code right here. We'll put box dash shadow and then we'll put a colon and then we'll put a space. When we have that colon, you can see it ends it with a semicolon. So now in between the colon and the semicolon, we'll put zero space, zero space, 50, five zero, and then PX for 50 pixels, and then a space, and then 10, and then PX for 10 pixels, and then a space. And then what we're gonna do is just simply hit Control V or Command V, depending on which kind of operating system you're using, to paste in our code. So we'll paste in that code right there. That's the hex code, the, the neon color that I selected. So if you need to change that, maybe you're not using this exact neon color, you'll just change this piece of code right here. And that's it guys, we're pretty much done with all the code. Everything stays the same, just change this to fit your color that you're using. And let's go ahead and see how it looks. As we hover over the button, this is what we get. How cool is that? So let's go ahead and actually publish this and take a look at it. And uh, you can see kind of this awesome effect that we get when we're on a page like this. Hover over it and we get that like neon feel like that kind of like the it's glowing all the way around it because the button is like that neon color. I think that's super cool. It brings like a super awesome effect to the website and to the web, the web page and kind of the overall like feel of the website. You get that like neon glowing effect like hey there's like cool interactive things to do with this website so remember this is going to be desktop only because it is a hover effect but honestly i think it's a really cool effect and i really hope you guys enjoy it and use it frequently in your site because it brings a really cool effect to the web page. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys have any questions or comments, drop them down below in the comment section down there. And of course, of course, be sure and check out Elementor Pro. Elementor Pro is an awesome plugin, and I believe the custom CSS is something that's only available in Elementor Pro. So you'll definitely wanna get your hands on it if you haven't already. Check out that first link down below in the description and see what kind of price you can get for it. Also, if you're new to the channel, maybe this is the first video you've seen of mine be sure and check out my other videos and hit that nice red look and subscribe button i would really appreciate it it helps support me and grow the family nice and big so i can release other videos to you guys just like this one and you can be notified of them all right guys thank you so much for watching today's video i'll catch you guys in the next video take care